Hey Fire Signs, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is going to be your weekly tarot reading. The message is a general, so they may not necessarily resonate with everyone watching. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what messages are coming through. Okay, it's interesting that you have the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles that has come up in reverse here. You may feel really weighed down and just burdened by certain um, situations or certain circumstances or just certain things that are going on in your life right now okay and you might be keeping it to yourself which is why maybe you feel this burden okay because you're you know you may need to share it with someone to help lighten the load yeah i'm just getting a strong message that it may just be a huge relief for you to you know you're harboring something here it could be a secret you could be sitting on some information um, you may have been taking on a lot more like responsibilities or just taking on a lot more and um, you're bothered by this you're bothered by this and it might help you just to sort of share it with someone you know open up um, so that you know the these connecting energies around you could help you with the load If you are going through some things financially or if you're going through like for example you may have had to take on extra work um increase responsibility you know for a higher paycheck or you know to prove yourself i just feel like you know you're going you might be going through some sort of challenging time but understand that it's only temporary okay so whether it applies to like relationships your finances careers or just anything personal and I feel like you're doing what you have to do. Okay, so, you, you know, you, you're, you're doing what you have to do. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, completely exhaust yourself in the process. It doesn't mean that you have to completely, you know, be weighed down by, you know, whatever this is. And it doesn't mean that you have to just completely, like, deplete your energy. Okay, so I know you're doing what you have to do. But, you know, there are things that maybe you could go about it differently, basically. definitely try and make a little bit more time for yourself because I feel like um you know emotionally I feel like maybe you're feeling a lot of burnout you know maybe you're you're spending it's like you know you're spending too much time and energy doing like all these things and like for example maybe you're spending a lot of time and energy at work but your relationships might be missing out okay it just feels like yeah you need to maybe you know you're pushing yourself some of you are pushing yourself way too hard that it almost feels like it's it's exhausting honestly it feels like it's exhaustion or it feels like it's you know you're on the verge of a breakdown on the verge of a collapse there's all there's also something that i feel like you you need to let go of So for some maybe it means like offload okay for others it means like maybe you have to let go of stress like you might be holding on like you might be putting on too much pressure on a relationship right now or an, on some sort of situation or you could be putting way too much pressure on yourself um so let, let go of that right um you could also find that some of you might be struggling to connect with the romantic energy and therefore 
you're really picking up on this you're picking up on the fact that you're able to um connect with someone here you know maybe you just feel like chemistry is lacking or you're just really struggling to connect with someone emotionally and what you're doing okay what you're doing in the process is you could be really like extending yourself or rather overextending and over applying yourself like you're putting in a lot of of your energy and a lot of your time and effort into this relationship or this connection or this friendship and i don't know that you're getting the same back in return to be honest with you okay i feel like there's someone here that might not be matching or paralleling your actions your energy your time resources or the effort that you're putting into this relationship then you might not be aware that you're doing so much okay and i feel like you know you're doing it because you're overcompensating for someone's lack of energy and for someone's lack of efforts okay how someone treats the relationship is you know the actions they take and how someone treats the relationship is a reflection of how they feel about the relationship so i'm not saying that this person isn't into you or this person into you know isn't into you know uh connecting and building a relationship but maybe you know you're just a little ahead of you know your feelings are a little bit more advanced than they are or maybe you just need to you know take a step back so that this person can step forward okay so you kind of need to there's something here where i feel like you're doing too much and be careful because you could also be you know in, in constantly over giving and over applying yourself this person could just you could just fall into this sort of habit where you know instead of you bringing it to this person's attention you just fall and slip into this routine where you start overcompensating for someone's lack of action lack of actions or lack of effort be careful that doesn't happen okay as for the rest of the messages i feel like things are looking pretty good for you um you've got the sun card and i think it's a, honestly i feel like with the sun card it's a reminder for you to connect to your inner child okay i feel like there's a lot um there's a lot of positivity and there's a lot of energy that is coming in especially after a period where you felt like you've had little energy and where you felt very fatigued and by the way if some of you feel this way then yes you know you could be doing too much you could be taking on way too much at work you know working longer hours more responsibility but you could also be just check your like vitamins uh, vitamin levels you could be low on something right especially yeah if you just feel like drained all the time because after a period of what feels like you know over being overburdened and exhausted you then have the sun card which is energy and which is vitality and it's just you know ready like it's you're radiating and it's positivity here but it's also a reminder to connect with your inner child okay there is like there is this flow of energy that is coming into your life and into a relationship and a situation that is just going to bring in happiness okay and it's going to put you in a position where you're radiating with joy children might have something to do with this for some of you it could be that you might find out that you are pregnant you might find or or you might find out that a very close connecting person like a close connecting energy is pregnant okay i just feel like children come into this very strongly for some of you it could be that you need to embrace your inner child okay you need to um you know maybe you need you might need to lighten up maybe you might need to lighten up, up about a certain situation or just you know learn to have a little bit more fun with things but i just feel like i feel like things are going to be picking up for you and i just feel like there's a lot more energy here there's a lot more like you have a lot more energy and you have a lot more passion here in your energies and you're also you've got this glow around you for some of you you're glowing so it, it could have something to do with maybe a pregnancy or it just could have something to do with the fact that you're happy you're finally stepping into a space in like 
you know you're stepping into a space or a phase of your life where you just feel like happiness you feel happiness you enjoy you feel like you're in a good place the sun along with the ace of swords brings in a message for you guys and the message is that there's something here that you've been waiting for it's like some of you have been waiting for things to get better and they will and they will they will be getting a whole lot better. So remember how I said whatever this is, this is temporary. It's going to pass. You just have to stick it out. Okay? <clears throat> whatever this is, it will pass. You just got to stick it out. And the sun and the ace of swords is bringing in a message that, you know, things are about to get so much better. Um, and a situation is about to improve, whether it's a financial one, whether it's a romantic or whether it's a friendship or some sort of situation here. <clears throat> And you're full of energy here. And there's also abundance. I feel like there's abundance flowing to you. So um, if that's the case, now might be a really good time to, you know, I know some of you might be going through something difficult, especially financially. I know you might be going through a difficult financial period. And sometimes, you know, when you're going through something difficult, it can be really hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Um, but that's why it's so important for you to keep the faith. That's why it's so important for you to trust that things will get better. Because they will. You know, ups and downs. This is the natural rhythm of life. Um, a lot of you are manifesting a lot of abundance into your life. There's this beautiful flow of energy. A flow of abundance. A flow of um, wealth. There's also a lot of confidence. I feel like things are working out. Things always work out. Okay, maybe not right away, but things eventually always work out. Um, and I think you're stepping into an energy where, like, your heart chakra is opening up. You're a lot more open. Like, there's a, it's almost like there's, like, this light around you. Okay, you're radiating energy. Some of you are expressing yourself in a very big, powerful way, okay? Some of you, because of this openness, you're, you're going to be reconnecting with someone or something. Some of you could be going back to something that you love or something that you, or someone even that you once loved, okay? You could be reconnecting with an old flame. You could be reconnecting with something that you love to do, like it was a passion when you were a child, like for example some of you really love to draw and you gave that up but you're gonna go back to it okay as part of this journey that you're on as part of this like um you know this journey this spiritual awakening and just this stepping into a positive chapter stepping into a beautiful you know trans into a beautiful new transition i feel like that you're, you're connecting with people and things that bring you joy that bring you joy that bring you happiness and you're not questioning that either and the sun is a very energetic card and i see that there is an increase in energy an increase in abundance an increase in like positivity as well there's good health there's a lot of like there's good health so if your health hasn't like you know if you haven't had the best health lately there's some your health is improving if your finances haven't been very good lately, they're improving. If relationships have suffered lately or struggled, they will be improving too. Okay? Um, you're letting go of worries. You're letting go of concerns. And because you're... I feel like you're attracting this energy. Because I feel like, especially after a period of what feels like, you know, it's what feels like a heavy energy. What feels like worrisome and concern and fear you know you're letting go of that energy you're you're letting go of that energy you grew you went through you know you grew through what you went through and you're embracing positivity you're embracing more energy here and you're you're you know a lot of you you could be taking on like embracing and connecting with your inner child you could be going back to something you love to do you could be going back to you know the who you were when you were a child, which was, you know, carefree and just, you know, having fun and just getting lost in the hustle and the bustle of everyday life. You 
you're just enjoying yourself i just feel like you're having a good time you're enjoying the people that you're with okay you're enjoying what it is that you're doing you could be stepping into a new role but whatever it is here i just feel like it has a big, very big connection to who you were or the things that you loved as a child or like as a young adolescent here yeah. you're coming across your energy is coming across as very confident very optimistic here and because of this energy you know i'm sure you heard the saying like attracts like you're attracting situations and people and energies that resonate with yours okay so if you're feeling good you're attracting good okay if you're feeling good about yourself you're attracting people who are going to feel good about you too you're feeling good about your you know your intentions your goals you're going to be attracting more of that energy and you know and more you know abundance if you're feeling very grateful for what you have you're going to be attracting more abundance into your life it's like you know you're stepping into an energy and you're attracting more of that energy it's like you're putting your it to me it feels like you're radiating on you're vibrating on that like a higher disc frequency and as a result you're picking up people that are you know tuning in tuning in on those high levels of vibrations and they're responding to your frequency but there is some sort of homecoming here now for some i just feel like you potentially could be reconnecting with someone from the past you could be reconnecting with a childhood sweetheart you could be reconnecting with an old friend who is pregnant or will reveal to you they're pregnant or they're falling pregnant or or they're trying to get pregnant or who will surprise you and let you know that they already have a child um some of you have been working on some sort of children's project and you've left it you're going back to it some of you are going to be seeing your i don't know is it your nieces your nephews your cousins or your friend's kid after after some time because this feels like a homecoming it feels like a home like a reuniting with someone kind of energy or if it's not like if it's not a child here it's your inner child your inner child you're letting your, you're embracing your inner child and you're letting it come out to play so going back to something that you really love to do as a kid whether it's draw you know paint um, i don't know something that you really love doing and you're coming back to it and honestly i feel like this is the happiest you've been in a long time whatever this connection is here i feel like it's the happiest you've been in a very long time if not ever all right guys i'm gonna leave it at that thanks for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now